Hey guys, today we have a, a very interesting lesson for those who don't know how to connect the dots, what I call it, connecting the dots. You know, this is something that I've learned along the way. I think the first guy who sort of showed this to me was John Abercrombie, uh, the late jazz guitarist. I met John when I was studying at Berklee College of Music and uh, back in the 90s, and my teacher knew him personally, so they introduced me. and. Uh, and I remember when he played, I was just in awe what's going on. And uh, I approached him, I said, I'm not leaving until you show me a couple of things. So, and he did. So he did. First, he showed me the triads and fourths, which is very jazz, 60s. But then I asked him s several questions about um, the music that I grew up with, which is Bach and Mozart and all that stuff, and then how to connect the dots. And one thing he did tell me that the key secret to that is the movement. And I agree with that. Um, so what is the movement? So let's imagine that you have a scale. First of all, never practice a scale. Don't do that. I know everybody says you should do it. Don't. Uh, the best thing you can do is practice movements. What I mean by that, when you have a scale, let's say, let's do G. And the guitar is very simple in G. So you have the major scale, right? And you have... Right, so that's your major scale. Uh, for those who don't know how to do this all the way, you should. Uh, and the major scale has numbers, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven notes and the spaces in between the notes, between three and four, it's half space or one fret, and seven and eight, one space or half fret, or one fret. The rest is two frets. What I mean by that is just one, one, two, that's half space. Full space is one, two, three. That's why it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? should know that. But going further, when you have, a, let's say, a G chord, and when I play in G chord, I play always root, right? One, then I do major minor third. So I'll have a third, either minor or third. It's the same as octave here, right? The same notes, right? Now, I'll create my chord, let's say one and three, right? The second chord will be also one and three, but it's gonna be a minor, right? Five, five, six, seven, and one, right? Again, that's a major scale, just adding to one, the third note. got that. In other words, if you have just the third note and some bass player plays one, you'll play. Right? But then so you play with a bass player. Or if you're just a guitarist and you're solo guitarist, you play with chord. Right? Now, how to connect the dots. For example, I have a blues. So the blues we all know, the blues is the one and the fourth chord. One, two, three, four, right? Which is the, right? It's the same one, there you go, up, right? This is the fourth note. So how do I go with the movements? Let's say, Now 
that's very obvious. Uh, what I do is connect the dots. What I mean by that, every chord, every chord can be connected with a diminished scale. What I mean is this, if you have a G, in order to connect to the A, you go one step low of the root, one step, it's gonna be the G sharp here, right? And then you do the, the minor scale. That's the diminished scale. Half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, and so on and so forth. I usually play in a minor thirds. Basically, I do this one and then I skip this one note and I go right here. So I'll go minor third. Right? It'll sound like this. Right? And then I connect to the second chord. Well, so let's practice this. So we have one. Right? So what I'll do. I did right so all these minor thirds are connect let's make it slowly from the root here so we'll have one all right and I go to the second chord that's called the movement every classical composer from Bach to Mozart never read it they used movements not playing chords but in order to get to the chord use a movement for example my favorite Bach air and G you know that tune what's happening for example he has it's a D right and he goes just the chord right goes to D then the seven six five right then he's going to the dominant here through the G in that movement you do this little note here. See that? That note is from this diminished scale. That's the note, right? And go to this beautiful A, and that's why it sounds music. So for those who don't know how to make music, this is your first start. So this is how you do it, right? And then you make sure that you're in rhythm. For example, you have one, two, three, four, and then different chord starts. When you go on this the uh, strong uh, beat, you have to make sure you're reading that chord, right? So for example, right? This is how you do it. So. If you do jazz chords, for example, you can connect more things to this. For example, I have a major seven, right? Right? Then you go. See what I did? So. combine voice leading for example you have right now back 
to our blues. So it's the same concept. What you do, for example. See what I'm doing? So, so I did it here. So I did the the B diminished. For example, the See? and to G, right? Right? And that's already interesting music. So blues, in a sense, has blues scale. Let's imagine I'm playing pen minor pentatonic over the major chords, so, right? See what I did? Right, these are blues, and that's how I do it. I do it all the time, guys. Everything I do, I connect one or two notes. You don't have to do the scale again, right? But one or two notes. And uh, the last thing, what you want to do is practice movements between chords. The best way to practice is try to create different intervals. First, you do the seven note, in, the seven note scale. <laughs> Basically, three and three, and we go to the D. You do the same thing, but the uh, you approaching that kind of diminished right to the G, the F sharp diminished. Right. In other words, we have. Concept that the, again I learned back back in the day. I played it uh, by ear when I when I listened to Bach guys when I uh, when I was about seven eight years old. I had LPs uh, and and I remember I'm loving all of those movements, you know. And I didn't understand how they function, uh, but then later on I tried to sort of by ear intuition create these movements. I didn't know the concept, so this is very important. Try to do this, okay. Uh, you can ask me questions in comments. I will reply to you guys, um, and then you can do beautiful stuff. Look, for example. <laughs> To connect with these uh, beautiful chords, and um, yeah, and then you can do in bluesy it doesn't matter.
right? All that. Right? That's diminished. So that's how I do it here and there. Try using it. It's very effective and the most important, it's very musical. So this will right away will put you in a different level as a musician and as a composer as well. Uh, the next video I'm going to do how to choose a guitar because you'll notice I have this guitar. I just bought it recently and um, it's a Fender Tele because I love Tellys and uh, it's not expensive and it's new. So I'm going to tell you about it much later on. All right. Thanks guys again and uh, let other people know. I'll do a lot of content, very useful and uh, when I'm tour, I'm going to show you what I do on tour and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.